American Eagle, where I come from, we just call it Eagle. This could be the most famous crosswalk in the world. We're doing it. We're really crossing. Come take a look at our Tokyo apartment. All right, you've seen it. Oh, and the kitchen. Slash living room. Today, I want to tell a story. We just got booted out of our Airbnb at 10, so the two backpack system is in full effect. You might laugh, you might stare, but I'm not going to have back problems at 75. Right now, we are here. And now I'm here. So when I arrived in Tokyo, I had my walking boot on, I had three bags, including this big suitcase, my camera in my hand, trying to put a mask on, trying to get my, it was just a mess. And I'm struggling, I couldn't carry anything, I kept dropping stuff, it was a tough situation. McDonald's. I got something called egg, beef, and cheese. We got two minutes to find our train. life now off one train and on to another as I am struggling to get my baggage and grab things and try to figure out where to go I hear someone yelling uh, from the other side of the airport I look to my right this man is looking right at me and he is in an all-out sprint he's hitting mock speeds my initial reaction is what have I done wrong this time About halfway through this guy's sprint, he stops and grabs one of these luggage trolleys. And that's when I began to understand what was going on. He was not coming to tell me that I was doing something wrong. He had seen me struggling with my bags, and he is sprinting to help me. situation in a little bit of shock I tried to think of why why someone would do that I'm, I'm not trying to be dramatic when I say that's not a normal thing for someone to run over as fast as they can to help someone they don't know and maybe it should be a normal thing but it's not Exchange that I had never seen before. I was not used to that. After that experience, it was interesting. I wanted to follow the rules um, and be respectful to the people that have been respectful to me and kind to me. That man was not alone in his kindness. It was a cultural thing. 
and it's something that can change a community or a state or the world. I don't know. Maybe I'm being dramatic. <laughs>